Okay, let's diddly do this. So, this isn't Call of Duty, as you can tell. This is Escape from Tarkov. Uh, as you can see, it's in beta, it's in closed beta at the moment. Okay, so yeah, this is Escape from Tarkov. Um, what is it? It's a highly realistic first person shooter. Basically, just about going out into the maps that are there, killing people, getting loot, coming back. Uh, the thing that's weird about this is, is it, or weird, different about this, it's a very unforgiving game. So all of this stuff here on my right is in what's called my stash. This is like, technically, it's inside a safe place where nobody can get it, in a sense. All of this stuff here is my character stuff, which basically is all the stuff I'm taking into the map. Uh, stuff like this, which have a shield on it, is insured. So if I die and nobody takes it off of me and then puts it into their own stash, after a certain amount of time, I will get it back. Um, however, all the stuff that isn't insured, most of this, um, if I die, I lose it. It's, it's out there in the map for other people to take until... You know, obviously they take it. Um, so yeah, if you die without any of this, or if you die with any of this here, like my bag, if I were to put a pistol on, say, give that pistol a magazine, and some extra bullets, I would lose the magazine and the pistol. This is known as the Alpha Container, uh, depending on what version of the game you buy, you have Alpha, Beta, Gamma, whatever. Alpha is the smallest one. Um, everything that you have inside here, you will not lose. The Alpha Container sort of some, is stuff that you will keep with you if you die, no matter what. Uh, I'm not going to take this pistol, though. I'm going to put this pistol back. Let's let's just let's uh, let's play the game. I'm gonna go for let's do a scav run and show you guys what it is. So this is my main character. This would be what this would be like me losing the stuff. This is known as a scav. Um, as you see, go into uh, the raid as a scav, a local bandit with random set of starting gear. It's your Tarkov, and you make the rules. So this is essentially an AI character. Usually, this way I can play as the game, but everything that he takes in. I don't lose if I die. I don't keep it, but I don't lose it from my stash and things like that. Um, instead, everything that he has, if I were to just run through the map and get to an exit, I would get all that stuff. It's pretty cool. We're going to go on customs. Let's do this. So this is all what I'm carrying. I'm carrying a scav vest. Uh, it looks like an AKM of some sort, so it's a pretty bare bones version. 10 round magazine, no dust cover, no stock, no sights, no nothing. I'm guessing my scav vest is full of all of my magazines and ammunition. Okay, this is Escape from Tarkov. Everything is like really heavy with the noise. I'm right next to the exit. Everything is really heavy with noise and things. So that sort of stuff I've got on me. Everything's hyper realistic. The audio's amazing. It's overall just a really realistic game, and I love it. So, as I'm playing a scav run, local scavs, aka the AI, are my friends until I shoot them. Or I piss them off with taunts, but I don't know how to do that. Ah, fuck's sake. That's obviously we don't have a stock. So that was a player scav. We're going to do what's known as a hatchet run in the smallest map in the game. So I'm going in with just a hatchet. So hopefully this is when I'm going to need to get lucky kill someone who has a gun with my hatchet and then I can start using that weapon to find more loot and things like that. It's just how I always start my day off. <laughs> my Tarkov day that is. Alright, deploying, let's go, let's do there. Shit, this guy right there. I'm 
slowly creeping up on a guy. Don't know where he went. Oh, oh god. Fucking, he just phased right through me, man. Fuck this. The game is also extremely unforgiving. So if you walk in with loads of stuff, for fuck's sake, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do there. If you walk in with loads of stuff, you will lose all that stuff if you die and someone picks it all up. And a lot of these games, <laughs> it's just gonna be me dying instantly. Like that one was. Spawned as a guy with a fully automatic weapon that silenced shooting me. Well, I'm back here. Oh god. The shots in this game, if they're loud enough, which they won't be in the video, really do scare you. Looting also takes time, all this stuff you need to search. Things will slowly come up as you search them. Holy fuck. I'm an idiot and I brought bullets with me. Like, very close to me, holy shit. So this arrow on the bottom left of my screen that's moving up and down right now. That's me moving the scroll wheel and that determines how fast I'm moving. So the slower I move, less noise I make. Obviously, the faster I move, the more noise I make. In three, two, one, open. Oh god! Ow! Right, both my legs are fucked, so I can't run. And I'm also bleeding out. So yeah, both my legs are fucked. Chest is fucked. I'm bleeding in my left leg. I need to bandage that up. <coughs> Otherwise, I'll bleed out. This is as fast as I can move now. I'm dead, no matter what happens right now. Oh, God, shotgun! <laughs> So yeah, that's how difficult this game is. Okay, so I'm carrying with me a pistol, a magazine for the pistol, extra bullets to load my magazines later on. Okay, so we're going to move inside this door over here. Now that everything's clear. So even if this, even though there's like, there's no shooting or people like shooting at me or anything like that, the game is still extremely scary. Because there could be someone around every corner. I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. Great. A few moments later. Awesome. I'm stuck here. A few inches later. I can't do shit. Day two. I'm actually fucking stuck. Day three. Oh well. Day four. Looks like I'm fucked this game. I can't even like stand up. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Nothing I could do. One shot, one kill. Fuck. Scouts are AI players. Uh, AI players, AI characters. One right there. Alright, we're moving towards the exit, let's go. Now we've got some stuff. Feel a little bit more confident my abilities. Don't walk in there, you'll get stuck. Oh god. So they could be shooting at me for all I know, so... I'm scared. So certain... There are only certain places you can escape from. It's places like these. They're different on every map. But I know about this one. Got another SKS, which is awesome. Got loads of good stuff from this run. Most stuff I will just sell because it's just, I don't have enough space for it and it's not as good as the stuff I already have. Some of the stuff I will keep simply so that I can use it next round. Right, and I believe we're good to go. Oh, let's do a scab run. And let's do this one in customs. So I need to try to figure out my bearings where I spawn and then run to that exit. Oh, okay, I spawned right next to the exit. Oh. 
They're players. Fuck. Wow, okay. Fuck, got to reload. Hold on, sir. Excuse me. Don't know where he went. EP located. Found an exit. Time to extract. Time to get out. It's good to go. Woo! More shit to kill with. I think he got me right in the face. And I just died instantly. Well, no, because I, I shot and then he went down. Like, he crouched. So I thought he was dead. And he wasn't. There's a player right there. I'm sorry. He's a fresh spawn. I just fucking murdered him. Two players down. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm a fucking killing spree this game. We're leaving, people. Let's go. Oh, what? Where was he? Okay. Let's move. What? Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm losing all my sh I don't know why I'm saying that. But, oh, I'm losing all my shit. I'm losing all my shit. Look at how much space I have now. <laughs> well, that is going to be it for this video, everybody. I hope you like Escape from Tarkov. I think future episodes aren't going to be by myself because it's very difficult to commentate on anything by yourself on a game as tense as this. When there's more people playing, which there will be soon, with me, um, I think I'm definitely going to record that because it's going to be a little bit better because I'm just talking, I'm explaining the game to you guys so you guys get the rough idea of what's happening when I do release more videos and that's all this video really is. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever the hell you want to do. Do something though, please. I love you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace!